beautiful day today. When you look at by the numbers, it was just average. That's how it'll go down on the books. But the key, of course, was the sunshine. A lot of sun, a little bit breezy at times, but otherwise beautiful. And if you like today, you will like tomorrow as it will be similar, if not a little bit warmer. First, we get through the rest of tonight in which temperatures continue to drop down into the upper 30s, mid 30s inland, and a couple of low 30s rangely into Berlin. The warmest spot will be down East Maine. The wind just southwest enough to be off the water there. The water temperature is still in the low to mid 50s, so that's kind of a moderating influence this time of the year. So that's the rest of tonight. Tomorrow is a beautiful day. Again, it's very similar to today. If you're going to repeat a day, it's a good one to repeat. Temperatures get into the upper 50s. We could crack 60 here and there. I think most of us, though, will stay in the 50s with uh, full sunshine. It's clear tomorrow night, a little bit warmer. We probably are in the 40s in a lot of spots away from the mountains on Saturday morning. And then Saturday is a great day, not only it being a weekend, but a lot of sunshine and a little bit warmer, too. We're going to get into the mid 60s, maybe a couple upper 60s, too by Saturday afternoon, but it will just be a really pleasant, comfortable day. We're clear to partly cloudy on Saturday night, and then you'll start seeing these clouds streaming in on Sunday, and that's part of a bigger picture forecast issue that we've been having with Sunday. Let's talk a little bit more about that. So as this high pressure system builds in, we've been watching this storm down to the south, and originally it looked like that storm would wait until Monday to move in. And then yesterday, the models kicked it to Sunday afternoon, and now they've kind of slowed it down again. So it's all about the timing between this low and this high moving out of the way. So the latest models kind of are in the middle. It looks like we get the vast majority of the day in on Sunday. And just the southern part of the state, the southern fourth or so of the state, sees a chance for an afternoon sprinkle as this system approaches. It doesn't look like it's going to be significant rain, though, until Sunday night. And that's when everybody gets in on the rain. There's a couple of downpours in there and it stays wet into Monday and Monday night as well. So I think we're going to get most of the day in on Sunday, if not the entire day. Just far southern Maine will have to watch out for that chance for an afternoon sprinkle. Total rainfall between Sunday night and Monday night will be about an inch to two inches. So not as much rain as our last storms. But we don't need as much rain anymore. Latest drought monitor came out this morning and the drought is pretty much done. I mean, abnormally dry one spot, that's it. So for all intents and purposes, we're done with the drought. Rain comes either way, though, into Monday, into Tuesday morning. Things clear out Tuesday afternoon. The next week is very interesting because it's going to be mild. It's just how mild. The European model is in the mid 60s, which is what you see there. The GFS model has us in the 70s Wednesday and Thursday. The overall outlook stays pretty mild, it looks like, all the way through the end of October.